Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, new video of Solaris Ray playing the shoulder strip to Earth crossplay with RimWorld. In our previous episode, we made our entry in the second sector, and in this episode, we are going to try to cross with the second sector all the way up to the third sector. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, I have uh, some of my characters that uh, leveled up, so let's, let's have a look. Um, and also we have uh, too, too much fuel and too much uh, synthetic. So we're going to have to increase the capacity of the ship. Uh, so the EDF Centurion needs some upgrades. So let's go here and let's have a look at, at our ship. So first things first. Power wise, where do we stand? Okay, so we are the maximum of our power supplies. We don't have enough space in our ship. We are almost maxed out in fuel. So that's not too bad, but we're going to need to make some uh, improvements. So let's have a look where we are. Hmm. So this is our fuel tanks. I would like to increase the capacity. And this is where we store our synthetics. So let's see if we can upgrade this. Um... We could convert them in packs, but I would like to increase the capacity somehow. Craft a container, fuel tank, exotics. Hmm. Multi container. We, we don't have enough space. We don't have enough uh, available space in the ship. So, hmm. we could potentially take off some of those modules. Um, this is a point defense, point defense. This is for organic matter, which is full already. Ah, la, 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 la. Can I upgrade this? Is there a way for me to make it better? Slot upgrades, no. Can do resource pack. A module is already in a slot. Some slots upgrades or downgrades and module crafting are not possible. Mm. Okay. So maybe in the in the intro, um yeah, and this is four. Uh do 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 already <laughs> already took off a cryo a cryo dream recorder okay capital missile launcher do you have any capital missiles no shell battery okay greenhouse accelerator okay mm. I see I wonder if I can. Maybe I can craft a nuclear warhead. It's gonna take some fuel, yeah, uh, and some material which I don't have much of, and very little synthetic. Um, but what I can do is okay. So I convert this to fuel. Um, I can make a nuclear warhead. Let's do this. So it's gonna reduce a little bit some of our stock uh, and we're going to convert that to fuel for now I will not be against some upgrades though so what can I upgrade here I'm going to be out of materials if I do that uh, plus one maximum uh, slot HP do it yourself resource back economy Sleep. Okay, um, hmm. Now, what else can we, uh, what else can I craft? Explosive packs, shields, yeah, but I don't have enough cargo. Can I upgrade this? No, it's, it's maximum. Um, hmm. You're gonna have to to do something about that. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be problematic otherwise. 
Um, so let's see our crew. So this crew member had an upgrade, and this is. Ooh, I cannot say that. I'm gonna rename that crew Bar because I cannot say that name otherwise. Anyway, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, crew wise is gonna is gonna help with the evasion of the ship is eating a lot though that uh, that character which is a little bit uh, a problem what about this character that's proxy proxy Shorten. okay yeah he's not necessarily super good at the bridge he's a pretty good scientist though um, so yeah, Proxy is a pretty good scientist and he's at the bridge. Where is Conrad? What is Conrad doing? Oh, Conrad have been uh, oof, taking some damage. Um, he's a sensor guy. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so Proxy is pretty good on science. Um, but there's no science at the moment really to do. I want to keep it in the bridge, so I'm gonna increase his bridge skill skill as well. Uh, and some people needs to uh, rest, so and I don't necessarily have enough power to power up everything uh, every time. So I'm gonna need to look at more efficient ways. Um, I gotta need more materials. I wonder if I can. How can I craft? What is offline? Oh yeah. Okay. So, explosive combinator. Yeah. And the non-combat sensor. Okay, which is not good. Okay. So we want our sensors to be operational. Um. So I'm gonna put someone in the warp drive, and the rest I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna take them off from here. I'm gonna put them in the cryo sleep to generate income. Uh, and I'm gonna keep two at the point defense. For one in the shield and one at the point defense, just in case. Um, those those individuals. So Thomas Vader is gonna need some. It's gonna need to to rest there definitely. So we will see how things are gonna work out. And I wonder, can I scrap this? It's fuel synthetics and exotics. So synthetic, I'm already maxed out. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna need to have more storage space. I increased the storage space for this, but I need storage space for synthetics. Craft metal, craft synthetics, explosive pack, synthetic pack. But I don't have anywhere to store it, so I'm gonna need to find a shop. I'm gonna need to find a shop. So I'm gonna power this up. It doesn't have any power, and I'm gonna put the mini nuke offline. So that should redirect enough power. Jeez, not not enough. That the mini nick doesn't consume that much amount of power. What else can I power down? Mm. Point defense. Point defense. Um, and just realize that this takes a lot of power, so I gotta take this off. There you go. So now uh, this should be powered up. There you go. So now let's have a look at our star map. So we have a space station to repair ships. What, 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 what? What is going on here? Oh, this is online. We need to power it down. 
okay so that's the reason why i didn't have enough energy this was on to create explosives so this takes synthetics and convert it to explosives synthetics and fuel actually so that's why i need to be careful but that's fine so now i power that down i can activate this back on nine and i can also have those two nukes uh, back on nine and the power will be used optimally there you go. So now let's have a look at, at, at the map. Um, hmm. So uh, I think I would like to go there for now. Okay, so they have synthetics. We can repair ship. So uh, how is our ship? How is the EDF Centurion holding? Ooh, there's many, many spots that's going to need to be repaired. Okay. What is our financial situation at the moment? Stay pure, exotic. Um, not enough credits. Oof. Yeah, we don't have enough credits. So is that is there something that I can sell? Okay, so I could sell some organics because I still have some crap cra there. So I'm going to sell 25% of my organics, maybe a little bit more, say 40% of my organics. Great. So now I'm going to convert that into organics. Okay, perfect. So now I can uh, continue to sell the organics. All right, I'm gonna scrap. Perfect. Continue to sell the organics. Okay. I don't think that they will accept more though, so, but still, I'm still full and I free up my cargo, which is okay. Now, there are certain things in here that I may want to recycle. Um, uh, because I'm not always using all my weapons. Um... I'm not necessarily using those weapons all the time. I'm using those ones all the time. And this requires explosive, explosive, explosives. This requires a nuke. Uh, what is this? Capital missile release and modifier. Tiger speeder utility drone into the enemy ship. The drone is pre-programmed to attack. Okay, gotcha. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's a fair amount of firepower that, that, that I have in this ship. Uh, but still... Uh, I don't need the greenhouse. So I'm going to scrap the greenhouse for the parts. Perfect. Um, the shear battery could be useful. Um, shear battery, I can scrap that too. Okay, so uh, I have this in excess, so I'm gonna take this, power this down. Take that, power this up. Not enough power. So I'm gonna take the the mine, the uh, industrial laser, and that's gonna convert things into explosives. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, still too much. Uh, uh, organics, but we covered that into fuel. It's never lost. 
and I still gonna give a go to reduce the synthetics I don't want to reduce my fuel too much though that's the, the danger uh, convert it into fuel here you go alright so I freed up some space I still have some synthetics uh, so that's pretty cool and I would like to use the credit that I have to repair some of the major major damage So we're gonna grab just the major damage. I think I can repair. Boom. Okay, so let's look at the exterior. So there's some minor impacts there, but um, I think uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. I would like also to see if I could. How much would that be to scrub? It's still synthetics and a little bit of metal. I'm gonna scrub that. Uh, con and convert and craft back. And I would like to have a little bit more metal if I can. So, here's the metal. How much can I buy? Sixty one, let's say sixty see, four, fifteen. That would suffice. There you go. Oops, I did the reverse. No I bought I want to I sold, I want to buy. Okay, there you go. So I bought a little bit of metal, I may have lost a little bit of credit. Ah oh, no, it's one for one, so that's fine, I didn't lose too much. Um, Crew-wise, yeah, it's not much else here, so I think we can exit. But before we do, let's see. So this is the entry point to the sector. Okay, so we arrived here, one planet not visited. So we're going to visit that planet. Um... So we came here, uh, where is it? No. I'm gonna go through the star. Oops, 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 oops. Something that I realized. I didn't power this up, which is not good. Here you go. How is that? Like, why don't I see uh, what's going on? Yeah, because it wasn't turned on. So what is this area? Uh, So, okay, lifeless planet, and there's a metal object here. How much fuel to go there? A fuel, five fuel. Uh, let's go here first. Landing. A small patch on the surface of this uh, otherwise lifeless planet seemed so uh, seemed to seep out fossilized organics with versatile properties. Uh, we could extract this substance for research and process it into a star fuel or explosive. So yeah, explosive. Yeah. Uh, conversion process requires setting up a few uh, dedicated facilities. Of course, it's gonna require metal. Uh, I can make explosive from synthetic and in fuel, so no, I'm not necessarily. I'm gonna leave it alone. I, I'm not interested. We leave the unique ecosystem of this planet attached, and our utility but bring back samples of the mucus for research okay so we have a little bit of credit and plus one karma cool. okay uh, so let's go to this metal object thing but before going too deep in there i'm going to see yep let's go close okay metal objects scan have picked up a faint signal of active potentially dangerous technology within this field of debris 
Command scavenging operation. You let yet yeah, let's use synthetics, yeah. <laughs> Just in case. An an intact artifact with a partially active subsystems was discovered floating among this debris. We recovered some of the material used in print in printing the bots. Okay, so we lost a little bit of synthetic, but we recover some metal and we have a module, so let's see what it is. Biotech artifact, asteroid predictor. Oh, a piece of living xenotechnology that can be used to predict asteroid movement vectors. Scrapping will yield both resources and research data. Let's see. Ship asteroid defense bonus plus 20%. Yeah, I don't have any place to actually equip this. But if we scrap it, it will give 77 organics, which will be an excess. One exotic, which is always good, and 30 credits. Okay, we'll keep it for now. We can scrap it anytime. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we are here, lifeless planet. Uh, so let's see in the sector where we can go. So this is an unvisited planet and there is two unvisited planets. So we have a little bit of fuel, so we're going to walk there. Okay, we just jump into the system. So let's analyze what's in there. Apparently there's asteroids, so we're going to need to be careful. We can see far enough. Uh, what is going on here? There's crews doing nothing, which I don't very like. I switch that character. So decent repair. Okay, so for now, I'm um, gonna put at the point defense. Oh, but who's operating the sensors? I need someone in the sensors. What? Not not the cat. Ah, let me grab the crew. This is this is not good. And this guy. Oh, there's multiple people that can uh, have an upgrade. I didn't notice. So Scully. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty average guy. I need more people good at point defense, so I gotta put him there. He's almost dead, this guy. He, need, he needs to, to recuperate. <laughs> okay, who else? Okay, so Conrad, you can level up. So Conrad is one of my, our main characters. Um, okay, so who is the best in in sensors? Conrad. So we're gonna invest in Conrad for sensors because sensors is super important. Okay, and I would like him. Oops. I would like Conrad to be on the sensors. Now he is it's very damaged. <laughs> um yeah, it's not super it's not super good. Um I think I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna increase the fire, his ability to extinguish fire. Who else? Nat. Okay, so he seems to be decent in research and repair. So I'm gonna increase his uh, faculty of repairing. Who else? Grum. Grum is pretty average in everything, to be honest. Um, is this it in, in point defense? So I'm gonna increase his point defense. Who else? Drens. Okay, Drens is 
is decent scientist, but already proxy is good scientist. Can be a good repairer. Yeah, I gotta put him uh, as repair. It's gonna be uh, our mechanic. Okay, what about the cats? I have two cats. Bad Kitty, Bad BB, no, Bad BT and Little Bastard. What, what is those names? Warp Drive. Okay, he's operating the scan. No, you do not do this. You do not. You are not allowed to do that. Um, he has one in sensors though. One in defense and that's pretty much it. So it can be a sensor guy, but put it on the cryo for now. And I will try to improve his ability to defend. That's going to be good. And the kitty, bridge crew, shield, warp. And he's at the warp at the moment. So I'm going to increase his ability to manage the warp. We don't time. Alright, so everybody leveled up. We're up to date. So let's go a little bit further in the system and try to see what we can see from there. By the way, um, let's take up the power grid. Uh, where is our sensor guy? Is he in the sensors? Yes, he is on the sensors because I want to be able to see as... F uh, no, he's not. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you? Come on, Conrad. Where are you? Going to operate the non-com... Okay, so it's not there yet. Okay, so now it's operating it. So we should be able to have more range. Here you go. So we have more range because we don't want to be wasting fuel. So this is another lifeless planet, but we can investigate. So I'm going to do short trips like this. Okay, so I reduce sensors. Now we have normal sensor range. And we are going here. Okay, orbital. This planet has a very poor mineral value. It's just a big rock. Okay, so that's that's a waste. I don't see anything useful here. So I don't want to be wasting fuel. fuel so we're just going to jump here. And let's go. We still have a fair amount of fuel. Okay. Approaching ship. Two unshielded ships are rapidly approaching tactical weapon range. The first one seems to be armed with high accuracy weapons with their own sensors. The other is a small and shielded escort craft with a single weapon, open omnichannel. Hmm. Our normal tax is 300 medal per trespassers. Uh, we will make an exception for you because we like your face, but uh, you have got to pay quickly. We have a third ship coming at any moment and their captain may not be as friendly as myself. 150. Prepare for battle. Right, we are not taking any of this threat. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna need to reallocate the crew to proper battle stations. So let's have a study of what kind of weaponry they have. They have a sniper cannon that is an explosive type. It ignores shields but can be deflected, so point defense. Micro rail gun ignore shields. Okay. Oof. Yeah, manually assemble rail gun does not consume exposure. Double damage to modules. Oof. Okay, so I have three people here. What is this? R microwave ignore shields. So the shields are not going to be very useful against this ship in point defense. Okay. What about this one? Armored EMC turret, hybrid integrity technology with uh, electronic countermeasure, increase overall ship evasion HP. Okay. Uh, this is a micro cannon. Okay. And what about this consumer? Okay. So this doesn't have a lot of firepower. What is the 21 HP, no shield, and this one 26 AP? Okay. This is the most dangerous one. Our shields are up, but our shields are not necessarily going to be super effective in this instance. So, the first thing that I want, I want to have all the people possible in point defenses. The second thing that I would like is to have uh, the remaining people, which are only two. So, I may going to need to make a compromise here and have two people in the weapons. 
and three people at the point defense zero people on the shields uh i think the cat is on the warp yep little bastard is on the warp so it's doesn't matter um but i would like well i can repurpose that for now it cannot defend so we're gonna let him there and you are gonna defend so he's gonna be on the defense and I think I think we are good for now. Alright, so now we are gonna put our weapons and we gotta focus our weaponry. Ah uh, yeah. Okay, so I can tower the bridge. If I can if I can grab the bridge, I will be able to maximize the amount of damage that I can do here. So there I can I can have the bridge and two weapons and the nuke. Oh, I didn't see the nuke, so they have a nuke. We need to take this down. Um seven and eight. I gotta put it this here and there. Let's go. So are everybody going to the battle stations? Yes. Wow. That point defense is, is almost out. Okay, so we are going to need less people with this, more people with repair. Then. Okay. Go for it. Shoot. Okay, so the point defense is there. I would like the point defense to prioritize this target. Hmm, I think that's still gonna hit. Ouch. Okay, so there's a fire and the warp drive is down. Nobody is affected on the fire, so we're gonna put that person on the fire. Oh jeez, the sensor is down. Conrad took a hit. Okay. Well, this is out of order. So who is supposed to do the repair? Let me see my crew. Who is repairing? Uh, this guy, yeah. What should we repair? Repair several. Who is he? Several. Several, where are you? Um, I can't see it. Oh, it's a drone. Okay. Can you prioritize this, please? Thank you. I think I want to reduce this and increase the power defense of uh, the 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 point defense to be uh, focused on. The lack of enemy crew has triggered a dead man switch on their ship. Um, it will self-destruct in a matter of seconds, kill anyone remaining inside. Okay, so this gun is uh, offline. Uh, I think I gotta begin to use this and I gotta use 4 and 5 to attack this. I don't want to waste my explosive too much, but... Um, 
Ah, I used the drones though. Oh, that hurts. Kitty. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow. Okay. Explosive wise we we Okay, so this is gone. Okay, so we're gonna re purpose this. Yep, don't, don't shoot anymore. I don't have much explosives left. So. Ah, this is offline. Okay, where is Servo? What is he doing? Oh, is he dead? Ah, Shunk Servo died. Prioritize this, my friend. Okay, the drone is going to repair. Um, another one destroyed. So our utility bot have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. So we have a bunch of food, metal, synthetics, and exotic. Camas, a little bit of explosive in two modules. What is this? Bridge command triple type. Okay. It's not too bad. It can be uh, used for three people. So, um... Are they repairing the ship? So put this off for now. Convert to fuel, convert to fuel, no. Um, okay, so first things first, I want this ship repaired. So everybody contribute in the repairation of the ship, please. Repair the damage modules, and uh, once that will be repaired, then we can. Uh, Looking to potentially recycle the metal. What is this? Uh, yep, so we're gonna take everything anyway. So, ignore shields, use free power. Okay, so I may deactivate some of those um, drone things because we don't have any drones left. So, what is this? I think it's just a capital missile launcher, capital missile launcher. Okay, so this is not being operated. Okay, which is not a good idea. So I'm gonna put another person here. Up, oh, boom. Okay, so it looks like everything is kind of okay. So we're gonna try to recycle some of the metal, not all. I'm, I'm really lacking metal. Oh, I think we're good. There you go. Alright, so the ship is repaired to, to the degree where we can repair it. So we're gonna reassign the crew to uh, appropriate roles. And... Uh, warp. Why, why can I not see the warp here? It's a little bit odd. Is the warp damaged? Oh, the warp has been destroyed. No! Oh, wow, I'm pretty happy that uh, I, I kept this one. Okay, it's not the best warp, but at least it, it would do. Put in here. Okay, so let's analyze the bridge. This is a, a command, command bridge tiger for two people. So increase the evasion plus seven per person, plus one to the defense. Okay, whereas the one that I have here mm, can be operated by three people but gives a, a plus one per bridge if crude. Whereas this is a plus one per bridge, increase the dodge by seven. Okay. So let's see let's see how, how the dodge works in here. Okay, so little bastard is uh uh, okay, my uh, I don't want you to do this. 
Um, go, go in cryo for me, please. Okay. In... It doesn't. Come on, M move out of the bridge, I said. Okay, move out of the bridge, go in cryo, do something, regenerate. Right. Uh, but I would like... Uh, so all those people are being... Um, okay, let's look at the crew. This guy is pretty good at operating the crew. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he's there already. And the next person is... Yeah, it doesn't need... Pro Proxy doesn't need to be uh, in here. It can be in the bridge. It's not, he, uh, you know, injured or anything, right? So let's see what will happen when it's going to be there in terms of the sheer evasion. Okay, so increase. Now, what will happen if I replace this? Okay. So we have that. 39 now we can have an extra person on the bridge let's put another person on the bridge the best person 41 i take it i think it's better uh that's more chance to evade more chance to evade is better now i would like to replace if i can um yeah i, can, I could be doing that but uh it's gonna cause some issues unfortunately um, way too much capital launches. Can I repurpose those things? No, it's just nuke slots. Um, so unfortunate. Um, I'm going to, to uh, it's another nuke. Yeah, that's gonna cause, uh, that's gonna cause some issues, but, um, explosives. This doesn't require explosive, but okay, the, the Tiger Mini Nukes are there. So, can I uninstall? Uh, this is going to require free power, so that's going to cause a problem. This costs one power, this is going to use free power, but uh, those things use t way too much uh, explosive. So, I'm going to uninstall this. Gonna put this instead. Okay, so now we have exactly the right amount, but this is not powered. Uh, it would be nice if I can have additional power though. Um, so this. Okay. Not, 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 not help. Not happening. Shield right generator. I take six. Okay. Why is the energy take eight plus ten plus six? Okay, so this is better, but it consumes even more energy. We we kind of have an energy crisis on the ship, unfortunately. Um. Hmm. Lack of power. Turned on. Okay, so I can power this down. And give power to this because we're not using that for now. Um, convert that into fuel. And here you go. Now, I'm gonna put this online. Okay, there you go. Power wise, we are okay. Boom. Now, uh, some of our crew are not very well, so I'm gonna need to have some kind of way to regenerate them. I can also craft some nuke but i need to convert fuel and metal and synthetics Me metal i have a very hard time having metal this is this is the real problem okay so we just arrived here large metal object so let's investigate this what 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 
Why can I not see anything? Large metal object. It seems like a wreck of a small space station. No active system detected. Investigate and scavenge. Log reveals a critical malfunction in biotech reactors that destroyed this research station. Its biotech med bay unit was, uh, was in survival mode and hibernating among the rubbles. What? It had eaten all organics in the wreckage to sustain itself and accidentally also tried to eat one of our crew causing a minor wound. Okay, so someone has been injured, but we have a fair amount of resources from this, which is super good. Uh, synthetics are going to cover it to fuel for now. And what is this? A biological medical organism. That's exactly what we needed. Because we have a lot of people that are injured, and uh, we just need to be able to repair them. And this doesn't have enough energy. Requires free power. Mm. Shield battery. I gotta disactivate the shield battery. And this should uh, power this through. Now, how much power does this require? Not much, but it requires a fair amount of organics. Okay. So I'm gonna uninstall this for now and put this in place. Take off the power view, and I'm gonna request um, some people to be healed. So, who uh, Conrad needs to be healed? Okay, wow, well, this is going through the organics at a, a quick pace, but everybody is healed. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna store. Put back the shear generator. Okay. We deploy the, the people at their respective stations. Yeah, that's the cat there, it's doing nothing. Just gonna keep in, in repair duty and guarding duty for now. What, what, it, ah, this is gonna give me organics, is that it? Yep, so this is the time to scrap decks. Boom. There you go. So now I recuperate some organics and we are good to go. Alright, and I think it's a good time to uh, end this episode. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little bit longer than uh, usual, but uh, I hope that will compensate uh, for uh, the, the, the time that I wasn't able to put an episode uh, recently. It was pretty busy. Uh, so if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. That will really help the channel. If you uh, have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.